Waigur Ji ka Khalsa, Waigur Ji ki Fateh Ji. So today we will be talking about um, Tan Tan Shri Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji Maharaj. So Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji was born um, in June 19, uh, 1595 to Mata Ganga Ji and Tan Tan Shri Guru Arjan Dev Ji Sahib Maharaj. Um, he was born in a village um, called Guru Ki Vadali, uh, which is within the uh, Amritsar district in Punjab. The Janam Sakhi of Guru Har Gobind Sahib is quite a special one uh, because it teaches us that no matter who you are, you should always have humility. So, when Mata Ganga Ji sought the blessings of Guru Arjan Dev Ji to bear a child, Guru Arjan Dev Ji said that um, Mata Ganga Ji should go to Baba Buddha Ji, who was um, the most prominent Sikh at the time, and ask for his blessings. So Mata Ganga Ji went to see Baba Buddha Ji with a big entourage of people and he presented and she presented um, Baba Buddha Ji with loads of delicacies but Baba Buddha Ji being the Gurmukhi was uh, refused to provide any uh, blessings so Mata Ganga Ji went home slightly upset uh, but upon hearing what happened Guru Arjan Dev Ji told Mata Ganga Ji to remain um, to remain humble and to uh, go on foot and to make simple food for Baba Burda Ji as he was a Gurmukh so he didn't believe in um, worldly pleasures. So when uh, Mata Ganga Ji followed through, uh, Baba Burda Ji happily accepted and then Baba Burda Ji prophesied that, um, that a son would be born who would crush the enemies of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's kar like he had crushed a ganda just in front of um, Mata Ganga Ji with his own hand. So when Guru Sahib was um, 11 years old, Guru Arjan Dev Ji had given a shahidi and so Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji had to take uh, command of the Guru Gaddi. Um, Guru Ji asked Baba Buddha Ji to discard the old tradition of um, taking Guru Nanak Dev Ji's seli and instead he wanted um, to be given a talwar. Now, um, at the time, the Mughal rulers had outlawed weapons uh, for any other people apart from Mughal rulers. Um, but Guru Sahib said, uh, but Guru Sahib actually took two swords, one for Miri, which was uh, temporal strength, and the other was for Piri, which was spiritual power. Um, so he told the Sikhs that injustice is sometimes you need to fight it on two fronts, and that you can't always win it just through violence, but sometimes it is also necessary to do so. Um, so as the sixth Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji issued many changes to the Khalsa, to the Khalsa and the Sikh Panth. Um, he set up an army and he told the Sikhs to always remain armed and to learn horse riding. Um, he gave us a Nishan Sahib, uh, which is the same Nishan Sahib that we use today. Uh, he also constructed a large drum, which we know as the Ranjit Nagara, which is um, the uh, the drum of the victors. Uh, he built the Akal Takht, which is one of our um, Panj Takhts at the moment in 1608, which is what we, uh, which is what in English we would translate to the Throne of Almighty. Um, he founded the city of uh, Kirtpur in the Rupnagar district in Punjab. Um, obviously, we all know the story of Bandi Shor Devas and how Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji released uh, 52 kings from the Gwalior fort. Um, also, Guru Saab did engage in jungs and in warfare and he won, he fought and won in four different battles against the Mughal forces. Um, so Guru Saab obviously le led a very successful uh, life and he preached as well as he fought. So he never um, fell back on the teachings of the previous Gurus, but he added to what um, we knew as the Sikh Panth and made us a martial Panth as well. So I hope um, that teaches you a bit about Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji and I hope you all enjoyed. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Akal channel nu subscribe karo. Navi videos de notification de lehi bell icon nu click karna na pulna.